Then it is the end of an era in Tampa Bay. The original location of Leroy Selman's restaurant on Boy Scout Boulevard will be closing tomorrow. Joining me this morning, we have Claybra Selman as well as her uh, son, Chris, and Bob Basham. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you for having me. Okay, so we're going to talk about this restaurant that has become an institution in Tampa Bay, and you guys are a huge part of it. Right, we yeah. started, started in 2000. Mm -hmm. we, we opened in 2000. And uh, Leroy had been on our board at Outback, and he came to us, and he was actually uh, had been in the barbecue uh, sauce business. Yes, and Let's bring up that barbecue sauce. That's mm -hmm. one of the original <laughs> bottles, and and uh, he came to us and said people were coming to him and wanted him to open a restaurant with a, a barbecue restaurant, and wanted our advice, Chris, and my advice. And I said, well, if you're going to do that, why don't you open one with us, and we'll we'll. Uh, start a start a, a restaurant and so we got a team together and Leroy was a big part of the team mm -hmm. as Claver was and we opened uh, Leroy Selman's right across from uh, the mall. And Claver, what did you think when your husband came to you and was like I want to open a restaurant? Uh, <laughs> it, it was very exciting. Yeah. Uh, his family had already kind of been dabbling in that and um, of course that was a dream that he was able to see fulfilled. He was very excited about the idea. We were already doing some cooking and some some testing of, uh, of some ideas in the kitchen before we got involved with Chris and Bob. So it was, it was a natural fit. And now it's been what, 17 years? It's been 17 years. So what is it like to see it kind of just come to an end this weekend? What's yeah. that like for you guys? Well, you know, it's, it's uh, very bittersweet. Um, Leroy was such a, and his presence was such an integral part of the restaurant. And it's been very difficult without him to, to maintain that, that spirit and that, that feel um, for what he brought um, to the restaurants. When they w started planning 17 years ago, the, the design of the restaurant, the decor of the restaurant, the pictures that you saw, the menu, the food, they were all about him and they reflected who he was as a man. And it's been difficult without him yeah. to, to uh, keep that going. And so. Bob, you were saying something really cool about you don't have really the principles of the restaurant, but you have something else. Yeah, we called it when we train our people instead of calling them our principles and beliefs and we talk about it, we named them Leroy's Way because we wanted our people in terms of the, how they related to people and how they, uh, in terms of hospitality and, and uh, to really mimic what he, the kind of person he was. Awesome. And yeah, he was, uh, it was all about uh, him and he, you know, his eyes would light when he came to the restaurant. His eyes would light up, yeah. and uh, and not and all the our uh, team members' eyes would light up because they they love seeing him. And he, when he came to get to go food, uh, Claybro will tell you this: he was always late for dinner because <laughs> we would package it up and say and we'd give it to him. And then he, by the time he got going through the dining room and everything, the food was cold. and We had to remake oh. it. And she was on the phone yeah, calling I him, too right? Funny. Too, too I funny. can attest to that. Okay, and so tomorrow is the big closure. But if you can, you can still come by. And you were telling me all the money is going to a very special foundation. So quick before we wrap up, where's the money going to? Well, tomorrow? the uh, Leroy. One of the things that was a passion for him was to make sure that athletes. Uh, college athletes were prepared for their after football or after uh, athletic um, uh, college career mm -hmm. future, their, their uh, careers afterwards. And so he, he really saw the need and felt the need for students to be involved in the mentoring program that he developed and Bob and Chris were instrumental in helping get us get that started back in I think uh, 2011 12 mm -hmm. and so all the proceeds from the restaurants will be going to the mentoring program that is USF. awesome helping students and future possible Leroy's thank Absolutely. you guys so much for joining us this morning our producer is really gonna miss the nachos so <laughs> you guys have made a big impact <laughs> on it Wonderful. Thanks, Lauren. we'll you. be right back after a quick break